Hello everyone, and today we are making a DIY rusted chicken house for your 18 inch dough out of cardboard. So all you need is a pencil, a ruler, and best to have a flimsy bit of cardboard. So first thing you gotta do is you've gotta draw a line down. Preferably this line should be near the left side, but not too near because this depends on the width of your chicken house. And you don't want to have a really long strip that you'll have to cut off. Now you measure inwards, and that was the distance that you have to have between every line, because this is going to be your permanent width. I chose 10 centimeters to get a relatively big width, but it's up to you. And then you draw a line after 10 centimeters, and then you measure 10 centimeters again. Mark it. And once again, you draw a line downwards. And now you're done. Color it in with a marker and do a hole and bit fold like bend it. The bits that you marked and cut off half the top as you cut it in half through the center, not the half waypoint right through the middle sideways now let's go so now you have to connect to the main part of the chicken house now you can use this using glue sellotape or anything I'm using sellotape in this one because I find it more secure and it gives it a bit more of that rustic little look Now for the roof. For the roof, you have to fold it down or fold it however. It, I fold mine together because I want a flat roof for my chicken house. But you can fold it into a triangle or whatever you want. It's up to you. Now I got my other chicken house base back and I placed it on top. And now all I have to do is sellotape it. Also, I added that yellow marker bit to add that rustic vibe. Oops. It can be a little tricky, this part. Okay, I saw the tape at the front, and I kind of did a bit in the middle for the hole. I made it into more of an archway. But now it's time for the little curtain bit to make it that cute rustic vibe and so no one can see that you haven't marked it in the middle. And if you have marked it in the middle, well done you. You don't have to add this, but you can if you want. Really up to you again. So you cut it to make it fit how big you made your entrance. I made mine pretty big and it took takes up most of the front. So I'm going to get my glue now and I'm going to place it. But first thing you want to tie it and place it onto the top so I can glue my toilet paper down there. And that's right, we're using toilet paper because it's really because it's really floppy and it really is like a curtain, a little mini curtain. So now I'm gluing it down. But through the red marker it kinda looks a bit like blood. So I think I'm gonna put another coat on but first I'm gonna trim around it so it's not actually way too big. Snip, 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 trim. Now the bottom. See, see what I mean about the blood vibe at the top? So that is why, since it's really gluey and went through the toilet paper really easy, I am going to get a strip that I just cut off from the side and I am going to glue it on top of it. Well, I say glue it, but there's already so much glue there that I don't need to, so I'm just going to place it on top and it will stick. And there you go, you have your little cute rustic little chicken house. Now all you need is your chickens. But first you should snip off the sides to make it look a little neater, but you still don't want to do it that neat because it wants to be rustic. Perfect! Now for the chickens! Now let's 
see the final result.